How's it going, everybody? My name's Tyson Inez. I run the Farming Submitter Modding page, Des Farms Farming Submitter Modding. And today, we're going to take a look at the vehicle control add on, uh, and specifically custom transmissions. The vehicle control add on was developed by Mowgli12. It's a script add on that adds simulated transmissions to Farming Simulator 2019. It also adds various other features, like a uh, interior camera rotation, which uh, look which will rotate your camera automatically as you steer. You've got adaptive steering, with the adaptive steering adjusts the automatic back rotation and maximum steering angle, which basically makes it uh, more sensitive and less sensitive as you're driving to kind of give a better feel for it. Uh, you got exterior camera rotation, which does the same thing as interior camera rotation. You got, you got steering speed and inverse steering speed. So this is your uh, speed as you crank the wheel, like how fast it kind of steers, and inverse is how fast it steers back, I believe. Uh, this one's important. Uh, you got look backwards inside. This is when you go in reverse. It automatically flips the camera around. So if you're using a if you're using a steering wheel, this is such a huge help. And then down here we have uh, look backwards outside. Same idea. Then you got uh, peak sideways. If you press the uh, if you press shift right arrow and shift uh, left arrow, it'll uh, peak sideways. I'll show you guys that in just a second here. And then a bunch of this stuff here is all your snap stuff. It's kind of like just a really uh, really uh, dumbed down version of the GPS mod. So here's the uh, peak left and right. So if we keep going through the controls, which you open by pressing left control C, we move over here. Uh, these are more for uh, keyboard. Uh, at least this one is. There's throttle limiters for keyboard, I'd say. This is like, uh, you hold shift and it'll, uh, it'll uh, knock your throttle down to 75%. Uh, you got low brake force uh, percentage, which is rolling resistance. Uh, and then a bunch of this, I would say, is pretty much all, this all, at least here, is all keyboard stuff. I've never used it, like, free steering and whatnot. Uh, you got permanent keep speed, which again, oh wait, it says right here. If permanent keep speed is enabled, then the acceleration pedal behaves like a joystick. This is like driving with cruise control. I, I almost wonder if that's good for, uh, like, a skid steer or something. I'd have to mess with that. Now you get the transmission HUD here, which is pretty obvious. This is all your sound stuff for your uh, turbo and the wastegate and all that. What I want to get into, though, is all your transmission stuff. Now I've went ahead and I've I've went ahead and I've made a quite a few transmissions. And if you saw all those tractors lined up when we came in to the start of this video, that should give you an idea of how many tractors I've got transmissions for. We've got we've got the quad range. 15 speed power shift, which was, uh, I believe Appalachian's modding made that one, but I might have made that one. Uh, you got the 1964 to 1982 8 speed power shift, which is offered on the, uh, all the way from the 40, what do we, oh, for, uh, 40, 10, uh, 20, all the way up to the, uh, 4440, and, uh, and 46, 40, 48, 40, those tractors. And it ended, um, to be replaced with the 15 speed power shift. You got the 8 speed synchro which was the alternate transmission for the 4020. You got the John Deere 7010 power shift. You got the John Deere 8010 power shift. You got the Synchro Plus, which is uh, those newer 20 series tractors down there. You got the Synchro, Synchro Plus power reverser, which is the, uh, wait, no, that's this tractor, sorry. Uh, Synchro Plus is this one, I believe. It might be the one to the left of it. And you got Synchro, Synch Synchro Plus power reverser, which is the same thing Except uh, it's got a power, it's got a reverser, and then you got Power Quad, which is the 20 series all the way down to the left there, and you got Power Quad Plus, which is also the 20 series down there to the left. So if we flip this thing back over to the transmission it's supposed to have, which I believe is this one, uh, you've got a few options here. You've got Shuttle On, which I've I've actually haven't been able to get the tractor to move without having this on, so this has to be on. You got your axle speed. This is your maximum speed. Yeah, single reverse gear. I always turn this off pretty much. Um, basically, this is so that you can use your joystick to uh, pick reverse. And you got a few options here. You can do it by gear, or you can do it by range. So if you do ranges, you can, you can shift the gears while you're in reverse, if that makes sense. So you can put it in reverse, and then you can shift through one, two, three, four, for example. Uh, automatic is off. The automatic is automatic shifting of gears and ranges. I have had so little luck getting this to work. Uh, speed limiter limits the speed of the uh, maximum speed of the vehicle to its default value 
that means you, if you set this to say a thousand kilometers an hour, this will prevent it from doing that, uh, going that fast. Uh, launch gear speed. This kind of uh, this kind of picture like default gear. So if it's set to 10 kilometers an hour, so it uh, picks the closest gear, which is C2 here. Automatic clutch. I only ever use automatic and manual. Pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Automatic clutch would be used in like a power shift. Manual would be used in a synchro transmission, and just whatever, you know, pick and choose there. Uh, hand throttle. Uh, this is if you want to manually do it with this panel. As you can see, it just goes up by 100 RPM and then backed off. I don't know what these do. I don't mess with these. This is the this is another important one. This is your G27 shifter mode. So this what this says is it's four gears, range plus and minus are your five and six, and then you got shuttle, which I've bound to the left uh, paddle shifter on my steering wheel. And if we flip through these, I can tell you what they all do. So this is uh, four gears, range plus and minus, and then you've got this would uh, you need an eight-speed shifter for this one because uh, your seven and eight would now be your uh, forwards and reverse. So this is my uh, it's another one I like to use. This one I use a lot on power shifts. Uh, you got your forward and reverse. You got your gear up and down, and you got your range up and down. This is another one for. Uh, Eight-speed shifters. You got six gears, one reverse, and uh, low high. I believe is what L LH is. So again, this is another one that will not really work with a G27 or G29. Again, another one here, eight-speed. So six gears. You got your uh, shuttle and you got your low high. Again, without the seven and eight, this that one doesn't work either. <coughs> another six gear, uh, forward and reverse, low high. Another eight-speed one. Uh, this is another 8 speed one, you got 6 gears, uh, range plus and minus, uh, so range up and down, and then uh, single reverse. And again, same similar thing except you got a uh, shuttle there. And now we get into the, uh, we get into more 8 speed stuff. I don't even understand how this, how some of these even work, I almost wonder if uh, people are binding button boxes or whatnot for these ones, so I don't mess with these. I only mess with this one. This one, let me go back here, I messed with this one, this one, and I think, no, I don't use this one, and then I use this one. So just, uh, just to recap, because that was a lot of wandering on, this one is you just 1, 2, 3, 4 for your gears, 5 and 6 for your range, and then if you push your shift down and slide it into reverse, that's reverse. And this is the same concept, except uh, you have a shuttle, and rever the reverse gear, it still works, but you don't have to use it that way. And uh, I don't use this one, and again, this one is for power shifts. You got one and two is your forward and backwards, uh, three and four are your, uh, is your gear up and down, and uh, five and six is your range up and down for applicable transmissions. So we're going to set this one to the proper one here, which is uh, four gears, range up and down, shuttle. And then we come to this tab here. This is another cool thing that they add. Uh, always turn your motor acceleration time down to something low. Uh, I, I like 750. Uh, you got torque curve, uh, so this is a modern tractor, so we'll set it to 40% increase. So this kind of explains what these all do. Uh, you can set your power here. This tractor is obvious. I, uh, I made this tractor when I didn't fully understand what I was doing setting up uh, the motorized config, so it's technically got 138 horsepower in the XML, you can, you can wind that down here, I believe this thing's supposed to have 80. Uh, you got your maximum reverse speed, you got your speed limit, which is your forward speed limit. This is your differentials higher, with a higher worker, so basically if you are uh, if you have this on you're, and you don't lock the diff before you give the uh, control to the higher helper and he gets into a spot where he starts spinning, he's just going to get stuck. Uh, swap front and rear axle, I have no idea what the point of that is. Again, advanced speed of front axle. I'm assuming that's for simulating a uh, hydraulic front wheel assist. I don't use that. What I do use is the manual all-wheel drive and differentials. This is a fake snow runner on this one. This allows you to press a... I have a combination of buttons. I use the... I believe this... I can't read it here. It's, oh, the share button on my steering wheel. If I hold it and press the down... Uh, 
the D-pad down, I get a rear diff lock. If I press right, I get a, uh, I get a transfer case, uh, four-wheel drive activation there. Kind of messed that up. I activate the mechanical front-wheel drive. And uh, while that's active, I can also uh, press the D-pad left while holding that as well. And that locks the front diff. So you can lock it all like on SnowRunner or just have it all off. And then finally, there's one more panel here. Uh, this is your global settings. So if you know a lot of your tractors are going to use the setting, just set this here. And then this is like, these are uh, just global settings for everything else. Like your default transmission and all this. Uh, your HUD position, you can move it around. Uh, your HUD's down here in the bottom right. I like it where it is. I won't move it. And uh, the only other thing I have to say about this mod is the custom transmissions do not work in multiplayer. I cannot stress this enough. This is why I kind of got away from doing multiplayer is I just, I love these custom transmissions so much I cannot play without them. Uh, in multiplayer you do have access to the base ones, which I did not go over. Uh, going here. So you got IVT which has to be set like this. You gotta do automatic clutch and automatic uh, automatic off for IVT. I don't, don't ask why it's like that, but that's how you set it up to make it work properly. Uh, you got four by four, which is uh, four gears, four ranges. Four by four power shift, same thing, but power shift. Two by six is uh, two ranges, six gears. Full power shift is like a 16 or 18 speed power shift. I've, I don't mess with some of these. Six gears with a splitter, again, six gears range uh range uh two ranges uh you got a six by four auto power shift i guess it explains them all over here or most of them i think this is like a uh this is probably like a massey or a claws tractor maybe where uh you have uh it's an automatic power shift and you got six gears four ranges so i th actually think that's uh what they call a dyna six from massey i could be I, I could be wrong all i know is john deere transmissions guys so please don't roast me in the comments for that one uh, you got car with low range, which is, you know, your pickup trucks. You got Vario. Uh, Vario is actually a better simulation of the John Deere IVT transmission. Uh, because the IVT actually has two ranges in it. And Vario simulates that. Uh, the IVT is more so simulated for skid steers and whatnot. I, 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 anytime I get an IVT tractor, I set it to Vario. Because... Uh, you've got your uh, you got your work mode and you've got your uh, road mode within the Vario by switching the range. No, four by four, uh, four by six hexa shift. Again, that's another tractor transmission I don't really know about enough about, but it's uh, you got four gears, six ranges. I'm guessing. Uh, Harvester. Uh, this this is a combination of an IVT hydrostat and a um, and a, a shifter uh, three speed. Uh, so if I, I just got it in here just to demonstrate. So you've got, oh, I've got it, there we go. So you got three gears, and then with a uh, button, I use the plus and minus on my steering wheel. This kind of sets your fixed ratio. This is exactly how the uh, IV, the, the Vario works. The Vario only has two ranges. Very similar setup. I figured I'd demonstrate that real quick, and I probably will do a combine video after I'm done all the other tutorials. Uh, direct drive is a John Deere transmission I know absolutely nothing about. I could not tell you anything about this. So maybe somebody who's an expert on these could probably t uh, drop that in the comments, but I don't know anything about direct drive or what it's even offered on. Uh, you got 16 by 5 full power shift. That's a lot of gears. You got 16 gears and 5 ranges. I don't know why that even exists or what tractor has that. That's, that's a pretty wild transmission. And then finally, this was added with an update to the uh, mod. It was the John Deere E23, which is your uh, modern 7R, 8R, 9R. And then old 3-speed automatic for your pickups. And then own configuration is another thing here. If you're in multiplayer, you can uh, build a uh, transmission. It's not as nice as doing what I've done and having, to be, having being able to name them and set them up with uh, the proper gear ratios and whatnot. So that being said, guys, that covers our little quick introduction to the VCA, or Vehicle Control Add-on. In the next videos, we're going to take these all those transmissions for a spin in their relevant tractors. We've got a 60, 6110, a 6210 with a cab, I've got a 7810, an 8110, 
two 4020s to demonstrate both transmissions, a 4440, a 4255, and I believe these are two 6120s. And I we are going to demon I'm going to demonstrate those transmissions that I previously talked about, the custom ones to you guys. So uh, I'll see you guys next time, and we're going to start off with the uh, 6110 over here with the first tutorial. Thanks, guys. See you guys next time.